Good morning, everyone. It's morning somewhere, and it is 1.07 p.m. where I am in, in New Jersey. Um, special thanks to the patrons, as always. Alan, Sean, Duncan. Thank you for your generous contributions. And thank everyone for watching. And that, that is also a very generous contribution. Today, we are playing... Fight Night Champion, a very near and dear game to my heart. Um, today we will be simulating the fight between Mike Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. Uh, this game came out in 2011 and it had some very unique elements for a boxing game. It was the first boxing game that had a story mode with some edgy moments in it. Your boxer goes to prison at some point and you have to do bare knuckle fights which are brutal. Um, if you guys want me to play through the story mode let me know in the comment section. I don't want to try and explain it because it's not going to do it any justice. So there's that. Um, so right now we're going to go into this fight this fight is scheduled to happen. I'm not sure when. Mike Tyson's coming out of retirement at age 51. And Roy at age 54. And uh, I haven't seen Roy's training, but I have seen Mike. And he looks like he's ready to kill somebody. So, um, <laughs> there's that. Alright, so we're going to do this in Cowboy Stadium because... I'm a Cowboys fan, try not to judge me too harshly on that. Um, I have my controls set to a hybrid between. Well, good evening, everybody, and we welcome you ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside you. I throw my uppercuts with the right stick. Little get to know you here in the opening round, scheduled for 10. Jones's defense is paying off now. Targeting his opponent with the I'm overhand right. Big boxing guy as well. And you I see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Time. With my grandfather when I was younger, watching when you have the fights a lot of when speed, we were how free on TV. Oh boy, it could be really effective because the opponent is keyed up already. Before the battle really gets rings, he what era I was born in. He's waiting for something to come quick. So you let him think it's, it's coming, he's going to react to it. And then you go get him. Boxing hasn't been. Keep your head. Here's one for you on now, he says. Right back with the left hand. The big name. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. Nice work. The left hand to the head. Roy Jones Jr. showing you that sublime skill right Roy's now. With that two punch oh, God. Didn't mean to hit that. Solid straight right hand. You have to work. start going to the body from two, three, four, five. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Roy Jones Jr. with a left. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts forth the right hand. Mike Tyson with a big uppercut. Mike Tyson's got to deal with a cut. This was how Mike worked. A lot of uh, close up right hand by Roy Jones. Really no uh being set here. They are burning it up early on. Mike has Let's one find speed. out who's in better shape. We're gonna see. And that was a little give and take, and here comes the left zero to sixty right away. End of round one. I got it. Tyson's feeling time great right now. There. Why not? He just scored the, the knockdown, knockdown and now he's got that eye. He's got that target, that vision. He knows what he can get after. And there's no reason why he wouldn't let's, have let's, that. Uh, right now, the only thing that he has to be careful that he doesn't the, have is overconfidence. Over. He doesn't get reckless. A bit. There we go. There we go. Much better. A new round underway here. Jones is hoping that he doesn't make a defensive ball like he did in the last round. That cost him a knockdown. See, that's 
where another set of eyes come in. That's where you depend on your corner. They're calm enough. They can see something that you didn't see. And hopefully the corner has told him what he did wrong. Uh oh. Uh oh. Back away from me, bro. Back away from me, man. Roy Jones Jr.'s right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Uh oh. Get out of the corner. There you go. Wait for him to gas himself out a bit. Sometimes your instinct is to pull away from what's hurt you. Well, he pulls away, he gets hit. He goes right into the Boy. line of fire, those wide punches. He actually has to do something the opposite. Drop right into the eye of the storm. Get inside close and tie him up. And make that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. Okay. And now he's targeting upstairs. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Cool down a bit. Cool down a bit. All right. It looks like it's below the eye on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be. He's in a bit of trouble now. He's in a little bit of trouble. And round number three is underway. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing. That left hand by Roy Jones. One of the fastest punches in the game. You see how he just turns over that hook. And now another left. Comes right back with some offense of his own. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Did you see that? There we go. Caught him with a straight. As he lowered his defense there. Ooh, spit some blood on the on the camera. Hey now. So after being knocked down, now some hey, we're good. questions to be answered by Roy Jones Jr. Oh my god. Accurate hook by Roy Jones. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Alex is right, man. The, the right straight. Dude's right. The right straight is a little bit OP in this game, and people people do spam it. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Roy Jones Jr. showing that walking stick right now, utilizing the jab. Just, just survive this, this round because I don't think you're going to knock him down this round. Ten seconds to go in this third round. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. And round three comes to an end. Alright, I got a nasty cut on the cheek, but... The damage is done. Teddy's got a clean sweep. Tyson's taken the first three rounds, and Teddy, it's not always the number one indicator, but in this case, he's simply just throwing more punches, and that's why he's up on your scorecard. Yeah, Joe, he's keeping his opponent defensive, and he's not allowing him to do anything back. He got caught by that. Oh, boy. He never saw it coming. He may be looking to clinch here. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to go down after getting tagged. He doesn't know where to go. 
Yeah, I might. I might go down. Oh no, maybe not. Takes a step back, then the counter punch by Roy Jones. Very similar to what you see that Roy Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Jones is taking desperate measures, Teddy. He was down earlier, and now he's just trying to return the favorite with just these big, wide swinging shots. He's hoping to get lucky, Joe. And if he doesn't get lucky, he's going to be right back on the campus again. Because while you're throwing those big bombs trying to get the guy out of there, you're leaving yourself very available. Oh yeah, call him a dog. Oof, right, right there. Made his head spin. Oh, did it again. Here we go. I don't think he's getting up. He's not getting up. Anyway, guys, that was fight night, champion. That's been the 20th episode of GBFB. I love y'all. Thank you for all the subscriptions. We're at 227 right now. Let's try and get it up there. Shout out to my boy LX Dark Sniper. I'm training for a fight with this guy online. I'm probably gonna get my ass handed to me. But I've always wanted to collab with this dude because his content is great. Yeah, it's a little NSFW, but you know what? That's my guy. Um, we are friends. Talk to him on Twitter every once in a while. Dude, I hope you're well. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. And remember, it's breakfast time somewhere.